How's it going? This is Korof, and welcome back to Rim World, Lord of the Rims. So last episode, we got our residential area basically done. Just have a little bit of flooring to do left over there. We pulled out our uh, breakfast nook that was here. Oh, and it's basically all replaced. Just need that one piece done. And then our great hall is basically done. Lovely. So this episode, we're going to focus on the throne room. And that kind of brings to mind one of the things I wanted to do was, well, once we got a throne room, we should put someone on the throne. So if you have any ideas of who we should nominate to be king or queen of our, of our fortress, of our colony here, I'm thinking it would be one of the dwarves, because uh, this is supposed to be a dwarven kingdom. But let me know. I mean, there's lots of the, the three, three of the four uh, beginning colonists, Ataris, Tomli, and Telroar. And I realized last time that Tomli, I've been calling Tommel for like ages, but it's actually Tomli. Anyways, and, you know, Craig is with, with the colony for ages, our, own, our first goblin. Gain has basically built half this place along with Dwali. A lot of the other dwarves haven't really distinguished themselves too, too much. Uh, Spence, we we lost. He was captured and we were able to recover him. Um, yeah, anyways, if you have any thoughts, uh, like I said, write down in the comments. And we'll go from there, but let's get this... Um, oh good, they're getting that flooring completed. Alright, let's get the mining done. Take a look at the plan here. Okay, so... With the... Um, these will be pillars that we're going to smooth wall. So as long as there's rock there, we'll do that. And we should be able to uh, mine all this out. And it shouldn't... Um, we shouldn't have to worry about the roof collapsing. As long as, as long as these aren't, this, there isn't like an open area in here, which I really hope there isn't. I'm not sure, but we shall find out. Okay, let's just get this set to be mined. And yeah, this will probably take the whole episode, I'm guessing, to uh, to mine this out and get this done. But, yeah, with that, we can also set up some of the, uh, some additional construction works. So I guess one thing is we do need end tables in a lot of places. Well, maybe not a lot of places, but a couple. From here and here, spin it around, do here and there. And then we can do... Yeah, let's do the dressers here, here, and then we'll do them in this corner as well, or these corners. Um, here, here, and there. Good. Okay, oh, we should also do, yeah, we should also do dressers for our prisoner accommodations as well. Not that we've had a lot of prisoners lately, but, you know, let's make sure we're ready when there are. And yeah, okay. I thought a little bit about the light situation in between episodes, because I'm not, I'm not really crazy. Oh, depressive. Ah, oh, dear. Um, yeah, I'm not really crazy about kind of the blue, yellow, green kind of mismatch uncoordinated lighting, but I'm not really sure what I wanted to about it, because, you know, the chandeliers require wood, so I don't want to go too crazy with that. The wall lights, uh, the dwarven wall lights require uh, components, and we don't have a way of getting that. I'd love to do everything in the blue, but oh well. And then the gnome ones, 
they require these uh, moonshade, uh, yeah, moonshade ink caps, which we can grow, which is actually kind of nice, really, because you know we can grow them in on the rich soil, and they grow much faster than the trees, and you get a much bigger harvest from them. Oh, it's already snowing. I was like, what is Anshu doing here? I'm like, oh yeah, she's clearing snow. Wow. Well, I guess winter is here, or just a couple of days away, technically, but it's gonna start snowing already. It's already minus four. Yeah, okay, so... Let's see, what was I just talking about? Uh, I guess the lighting? Yeah, so that's... I'm not sure. I may just leave the lighting for now. Not worry too much about it. There's a couple of places, like even over here, this hallway's chandeliers as opposed to the dwarven wall lights. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was saying. Because these are from uh, a crop that we can plant and grow, we've got a lot more control over it. As opposed to trees, which, well, grow naturally and grow everywhere. Oh, yay, they left pipeweed. <laughs> no one get addicted to that, all right? Ugh. Um, but yeah, I find the, I'm guessing the in-cap stuff, even with our short and growing season, we'll be able to grow that and, uh, keep on top of that. Aww. But yeah, we shall see. Looks like they're making good progress mining this out. So the other thing I wanted to see was where the slate is kind of on this side, but I'm hoping the slate kind of angles through somewhere. Because it'd be really nice just to do a gigantic smooth floor through here. Which would look awesome if it's kind of the white of the limestone split with the black of the slate. But if it's only a corner, we'll, we'll pick something else, I think. Something that'll look nice. So the mining is coming along and look at this. It's, it's not perfectly arcing through, but that's fine. I mean, look at this. Nice. Even if it kind of comes up through here, that'll just look gorgeous. Because we want to have kind of the two-tone look throughout the uh, base here. Kind of got the black on this side and the limestone on the other. Yeah, that'll look great. Oh, and winter has begun. Well, still getting a few lights moved in here just to light this place up. I'm sure there's, yeah, there's lots of... Oh, no. Okay, and the corners are still okay, just... Up here, we just need these mo lights moved in, but that will be great. What? What happened here? Uh, there's Skeletal Legion everywhere, but we didn't uh, get an attack sign. I kind of just was like, whoa, why, why is time slowed down? What's happening? And Femi is <laughs> running around to killing these guys. Oh... Uh, what? That's so weird. There was no raid warning. It's not like I cleared it already. Oh, well, we're definitely being attacked. Um, why are they already damaged? Huh? Ah. Uh. Okay. Well. Um. Battle stations, everyone. Is there is there another group of them? I need to check because I don't have the uh, don't have the notification to help. Okay, that's it. Uh, well, yeah, there's a lot of them. Huh? They fighting a buffalo? No, this is our yeah, this is our guy's attack. Weird. Okay, well. Um, yeah, Feeny, everyone. Battle stations. Um, hey, Feeny, are you, you need to be going. Yeah, there you go. Seems like they're just milling about. Huh? Yeah, look at that. Well, I don't... Where are you guys going? Okay. Hey, everyone. What's going on? 
Yeah, they're not attacking us, it seems. They're just kind of everywhere. Well, I guess if they're not attacking us, we don't really need to um, be ready. We can just stay inside, and that should be okay. Huh. So we just uh, can't go outside for a little while. <laughs> wow, look at that. That is awesome. The slate running... Kind of nice curve beside the limestone. We don't have any holes in the mountain here. Perfect. Lovely. Couldn't have planned it better myself. So we'll get started on that. Um, and some of these spaces are dark, so we're going to have to get the walls in quickly and fill those in. But this skeletal legion mass? Not a raid? Maybe a migration? I don't know, it's still here. It's been like two days. Mm-hmm. Alcohol binge. Great. So, we're okay. Um, but it's kind of annoying. We've got everything we need within our base. We don't actually need to go outside a whole lot. The main thing is going to be meat. And, yeah, just whether we're going to have enough resources to kind of wait them out or if whether we're gonna have to mount an assault and try to attack them that's really weird I don't know if it's a mod glitch or if this is supposed to happen like a migration but there is so many of them <laughs> and they're all kind of the same though skeletal archers with recurve bows I've had a look around and it's not like they're the usual mix so maybe this is something or maybe it's something like Sometimes raids go wrong interacting with this mod and it didn't like it and kind of just <laughs> splattered skeletons everywhere and left them at that. I don't know. Eventually we're going to have to clear them out if they don't leave on their own, but... Oh dear. Oh, and now we've got a raid. Oh, from the Skeletal Legion. Right, probably wondering where their comrades are. So yeah, this is more what I would be expecting with a raid from them. Kind of runners, different types of weapons. Not uh, not all the same. Huh. Okay, well, either way. Oh, that's interesting. Omoko, which way are you going to end up going? Yeah, hopefully they don't attack you if you're leaving this way. Oh well. Best get set up for this raid. Okay, so we're all set up here now. Waiting for them all to come in. Uh, one thing I noticed... Oh no! Oh, I was gonna say he's fighting... Aw, oh, frames. Chief angered. Aw. He's dead, he didn't just uh, get injured. I noticed he came up here and was fighting, and it seems like... Oh no, these are the, uh, the attackers have come in. It's just these uh, these other ones. Skeletal archers are just milling about. It seemed like he was just kind of fighting them randomly, and they weren't really fighting back. If he fought them, they would fight back, but... Other than that... Uh, just, I don't know, they're just milling about. Well, goodness. This is going to take a bit of time to to get through. Hopefully we don't shoot ourselves in the back too much. We should be okay. I mean, we're only three deep, so I guess... I don't know. Who knows? Oh no! Boris died! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Limber... Limber went on a mental break. Uh, was gonna go slaughter animals. I had Ancho go over and try to arrest him. He went berserk, and now he's killed Boris. Aww. Danis is also downed. Camber, rescue Ancho. 
Oh my gosh. It's gonna be worse than the actual raid. No, tell Roar. Here, where are you? No, stay here. There's gonna be other people to attend to. Um, yeah, you can go back here. Uh, oh, is that to all of them? Oh no, there's still more coming, okay. Ah, Camber, you can heal. Oh man, Boris is dead. <sighs> A mess. Oh. Yeah, this raid is basically just done. Where are you going, Owl? No. <laughs> Stay out of here, they're fighting still. Uh, kangaroo, where are you going? Please stop trying to fight fires, please just... There we go. Well, that looks like that's it for the raid. Ah. Uh, Tumble's now catatonic. Ah. Camber, are you going to rescue him? Someone rescuing... Craig is, okay. Uh, right. And yeah, he's right there. Okay, well, guys, go get yourselves tended to and stuff. Oh, that's terrible! Wait, were you... Were you putting him in one of the sarcophagi? Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, that probably means... Who was... It was Anshu, wasn't he? Married to... Oh, yeah. My husband Boris died. Husband and friend Boris died. Oh, boy. Anshu is going to be terribly... Not in a good way. Um, here. There. No work requirements. Just do whatever you want. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, hand fast. Sorry, I forgot you. Not sure what happened there, but there you go. You can go free. Okay, well, what uh, what should we do now? Is everyone getting attended to here? Is anyone up in our other hospital? No. Okay. Ah, dear. Poor Boris. All because one of our guys, one of our heavily armed guys went berserk. Ah. And that's kind of one of the problems with having really late game weapons and whatnot is, um, especially the melee guys, the, the ranged guys aren't too bad because you get into melee with them and then they're, you know, they can't use their bows, but these, uh, double bearded axes, uh, these double bearded axes are something else. And, uh, yeah. You go and try to arrest someone when they're berserk, they really do a number on them. Yeah, now we're gonna have to send you guys away. We've got skeletons everywhere around here. And they still haven't left. These are the... this isn't from the raid, this is just... Massive... Migration? I don't know. It's kind of a mess? Eh... Anyways... We're... I think we're going to need to deal with that. Um, I'm, I'm keeping a close eye on Anshu, make sure she doesn't, you know, wander out here and suicide. They don't seem to... well... I wasn't sure what was going on here with the guest, whether he decided to start fighting them and they fought back, but it doesn't seem like they're actively attacking anything, they're just kind of milling about, so... I don't want to risk it with Anchu. Probably have to see whoever's um, okay and have a hunting party go out and see if we can fight these guys. The problem is, it's there's a lot of them. There is really, really a lot of them crawling all over the place here. And if they all turned on us, I don't really want to fight them right this moment. We've got a lot of injured right now. And... Yeah, a lot of people close to or taking mental breaks. So I think we're gonna probably give it another day, let everyone heal, and then see what we can do. Yeah. Well, we got our throne room mined out, but uh, I guess Gain can get some stuff done. But I don't know, maybe we'll let everyone just uh, take a day to... 
take a breather, take it all in, relax, and not uh, stress about too many things. Just notice that Anshu managed to f finally run outside. She'd been good all day, and I'd, I guess I turned my back. No, Sora, go this way. Ugh, no. Rescue. Here. Thoro, rescue Anchu, but could you take her the other way, please? Unless these guys are just going to let you pass? Okay. Not sure what happened. She seemed to fight one of the skeletons? I just heard someone fight some... Oh, these guys are dying on the traps. Okay, well, that's fine. Yeah, really strange that they don't seem to attack unless attacked. Anyways. Uh, there we go. Anchu is safe again. I don't think she's bleeding or anything. Yeah. So she did fight one of them for some reason, but... Ah, dear. Okay, well... A couple things I was thinking about. Wanted to... Yeah, let's, let's get the work started on this. On our throne room, where we hear structure... What I wanted to use was... Where is it? Dwarven Reinforced Wall. So let's get some of that. And... I think I'd originally thought that I was going to do the slate on this side and the limestone on this side. Just to kind of have the floor and the walls different, but I think it'll look much better if we have them the same. So we're going to... Oh, I was going to just do the corners first. Uh, there we go. And then slate on the other side. And once the corners are in, we can get the, the rest of the walls in. But we'll get started on that. Okay. And actually, while I was looking around, I was thinking this area. I want to make this wall nice and thick. And it, even though it is too wide because of the angle, it makes it look thinner than I really want it to. So let's fix that. Oops. There we go. And then maybe pull this out a little bit longer. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side here. I think this will look better. There we go. If I can just click in the right spot. There. Good. Okay. Well, I think we'll still give everyone another day before we hunt these skeletons. Yeah. I mean... Thoror manages to kind of walk past them and they didn't mind them, so hoping that means they're they're like a pack of animals that you know, well maybe they'll go manhunter I guess that's the problem, but individually we might be okay just to fight them. Who knows? We'll find out next episode because we're going to leave it here for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.